Is it possible that we'll get an Allosaurus hybrid in Chaos Theory? Alright everyone, so today's video is going to be about will Allosaurus get a hybrid in Chaos Theory? There are many, many Allosauruses in the Jurassic franchise games. But why do I think this? Well, we know Toro from Cretaceous Season 1. That ended up, you know, not Toro necessarily, but there was a Carnotaurus hybrid. I do think Toro was kind of leading into that, you know. Toro was the first main big bad of Cretaceous, and then the first unique hybrid was made of Carnotaurus, that being the Scorpius Rex. We can see its DNA components. But yes, that's why I think Allosaurus might be getting a hybrid in Jurassic World Chaos Theory. There are many, many hybrids to go over with Allosaurus when it comes to Jurassic franchise games, so we're going to take a look at a few of them. First one being the Alloraptor. This is a very main one, well known. It's a hybrid of Allosaurus Gen 2, which is the Battle of Big Rock, Allosaurus, and the Jurassic World Dominion. Allosaurus, so that's very cool. But then Alloraptor also makes a hybrid called Allodrigus. Now this is a relative of the Dodo. It's a hybrid of Rodriguez Solitaire. For those that don't know, Rodriguez Solitaire can be found in Jurassic World Alive and probably soon in Jurassic World the game. It's coming, I think. But uh yeah, those are the two hybrids of the Allosaurus from Ballot Big Rock, but there are still other ones, such as the Allozenosaurus. Now this is a hybrid of the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Allosaurus and the Sino Ceratops, which is crazy. And then there's also a super hybrid of that called the Thora Dolosaur. You're probably like, what is this? Well, this is a hybrid of Tarbosaurus and Allozenosaurus, the previous hybrid we just spoke about, which is crazy, you know? Although, do not get your mind mixed up. This is not a hybrid of the Tarbosaurus from Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Hidden Adventure. This is purely Jurassic World Alive and the game's own version of Tarbosaurus, which was made before uh, Camp Cretaceous Hidden Adventure. So, I assume we could get Tarbosaurus Gen 2 down the line but uh there's still one more hybrid i'd like to discuss and i think this is the most possible one we could see appear in the jurassic franchise this is the allonogmius now you gotta think every other hybrid i've spoken about you've got to consider all the ingredients in them so alloraptor that is part raptor now whilst we could get it there was also carnoraptor and that never appeared in camp cretaceous so i think a raptor based hybrid is kind of off it would the it kind of was carnoraptor the scorpius rex because it did have velociraptor dna in it uh however it was more you know a billy saw design so i think this allosaurus hybrid if we are getting one could be more Allosaurus designed. So I don't think we'll be Alloraptor. And same thing goes for Allodriguez, especially considering its component is Rodriguez and barely anyone's heard of that. I don't think they'll go that route. You know, most of the hybrids, they have very well-known DNA in them, at least in the Jurassic franchise. Of course, in the games, they can do whatever they want with all the hybrids, you know. But in the franchise, you've got Indominus Rex, which is T-Rex, Velociraptor, everyone knows them. Then you've got Indoraptor, which is Indominus Rex, Velociraptor, everyone knows them. Scorpius Rex is part Carnotaurus, and then T-Rex and Velociraptor. Most people know Carnotaurus, everyone knows the rest. And then, you know, we've got Spinosaurus, which is part Spinosaurus, and everyone knows Spinosaurus. So, I feel this hybrid's gonna have to have something major in it so you know allozenosaurus sure it's part size ceratops but we just had a size ceratops hybrid that being the spinoceratops so i feel that's kind of off the table right so thoradolosaur now whilst you could say it could appear i don't think they're going to fuse two tyrannosaurs together plus you will have would have already had to have made the allozenosaurus in the series which i don't think they're going to make so and just think it's not going to be that unique the thoradolosaur because it's just tarbosaurus and allosaurus two theropods combined they don't have that many unique features allosaurus has the most unique features and it already has a couple of spikes running down its back so tarbosaurus isn't going to add much especially considering in jurassic world live its color is green whereas in the show it's like you know red bluish grayish i don't remember but it's not going to add much color to it but Allonogmius, this is a very unique hybrid. What's it made of? It's made of Allosaurus and Bananogmius, which is a type of prehistoric fish. However, I think the Jurassic World franchise would change it up 
and make it a hybrid of Mosasaurus because Bananogmus is not yet in the Jurassic franchise. I don't think we're seeing it anytime soon. We haven't gotten Plesiosaurus yet, let alone do I think we'll get Bananogmus just yet, right? So I think what they'll do, considering we got the Scorpius Rex, right? And that could potentially be like a Kinoraptor changed variant, right? So, because we've got the Velociraptor and the Carnotaurus DNA in there, even though I know Carnotaurus was made of Pyraptor, we do know the DNA components can change, like Spinoraptor, that was originally Utahraptor and Spinosaurus, but Jurassic World Evolution changed it to Spinosaurus and Velociraptor, so I think they could do the same with Carnotaurus. But then again, we see, you know, Scorpius Rex is basically Carnotaurus with an additional uh, DNA component, that being the T-Rex, plus uh, probably some other things like the scorpion fish. It, there's, it's really a mystery what Scorpius Rex is made of still. But yes, I do think they could change up this Allosaurus hybrids component. Instead of it being Bananogmus, make it something more well known, that being the Mosasaurus, right? It's a fish, not a fish, it's a swimming dwelling creature, lives with the fishes is what I meant to say. And I think this is a very good to create an apex predator, you know, one that can hunt both in the water and on the mainland. So we can see, you know, scenes of Alanogmius, whatever they're going to call it. I would call it Malosaurus because it's similar to Malusaurus, which was the deleted hybrid that was going to appear in the first Jurassic World movie. So I think Malosaurus is a very sick name. However, you know, you know so they might want to bring Malusaurus back. So maybe they won't call it that. But Malosaurus is what I'm going to stick with for now because it just sounds pretty awesome. But, uh, yeah, so we do have facts on the Alanogmius, right? There's quite a few. We'll see what they're about and maybe we can get an idea on what this hybrid could be about. So, like the Allosaurus, Alanogmius is known to prey on large herbivores like Stegosaurus. So that makes sense, you know, Stegosaurus and Allosaurus both lived in the Jurassic, so probably natural instincts to hunt each other. Then, though a land-dwelling creature, Alanogmus's aquatic instincts often lead it to shoreline hunting grounds. So this is what we say, it can be an apex predator in both aquatic and mainland areas. So here is fact three out of four. Powerful and shallow water Alanogmus will sometimes drag prey into shallow pools to gain an environmental advantage. So uh, once again, the apex water and mainland area. Now the final fact, on land, the large dorsal fin of the Alanogmus helps it heat regulation. So, you know, I think that's pretty helpful with it. That's why it's so good on the shoreline. You know, it can be there in very hot days and it can heat regulate. So, you know, maybe a weakness to it is, you know, snowy areas, very cold environments. And that is how the campers could defeat it. You know, they bring it somewhere near a snow area and it just loses all its energy basically and can't really do anything. So that's how they could do that. But yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think we could get an Allosaurus hybrid in Jurassic World Chaos Theory? What do you think it will be made of? Allosaurus, something else, or do you think a different hybrid entirely? Let me know in the comments below, like and subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye everyone.